Welcome back. It's time to kick it up a notch in the kitchen. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here with a preview of some of the crafty aprons you'll be able to get your hands on at this weekend's Craft Sanity Apron Show. You're an apron woman. You're wearing a special apron today. Yes, I'm an apron fiend. And remember um, back a year ago, I was training for the Riverbank, going to run the 25K, and mm -hmm. then I got to the day before, and I'm like, okay, I need to face reality. I'm not ready for this race. And I <laughs> downgraded to the 10K. Yes. And so I made this apron to distract myself and ran in it. Yes. Had a great time, and now I run all my road races in aprons. And that led to, um, I actually, this apron got me a spot on the Riverbank Run Road Warrior team this year. I love it. And I was paired with a charity partner, Safe Haven Ministries. And when it came to fundraising, I thought, you know what? Let's try to do something with aprons. So we um, put out a challenge to the community, and I did a segment recently on that where yes. we showed people how to make an apron with neckties. Yes. So all the aprons you're going to see featured in this show that opens Friday at the Y feature neckties. So we're going to start showing you a preview yes, let's here. let's look at some of these. So First fun. up here we have Elaine Bergtorf and she's from Caledonia. She made four aprons for the show. This first apron mm. here is fantastic because she took a men's necktie. She kind of made the top look like a shirt. Yes, um, a men's I love shirt, it. shirt and the bottom is very feminine with that um, flounce and that's going to be up for auction. So uh, come nice. on out Friday and find out how you can put your bid in for that. The yin and yang. Apron. Yes, Mail. okay. Next up we have <laughs> Kona. Wearing, she's wearing a cotton apron here. The, the necktie is around the neckline and also around the pockets. So very nice. it's a very nice, uh, fun apron. And that, it's got rickrack. I love rickrack. You gotta have some rickrack. Yes. So this show will feature some rickrack too. <laughs> Good. Ne next up, we have Lizzie wearing a really fun don't bug me apron oh, that is embroidered word. on the necktie and there's a little uh, insect there uh, pinned on yeah. and that bottom ha you, if you want to go for kind of a halloween effect as you can see these aprons are very different yes very very different so and this one's by laura bartleson of caledonia who also oh, made word. several aprons for the show did she hand stitch those uh, those webs on there the oh webs? no no that's actually like a plastic oh. like a like a it's so if you spill you're all set just wipe it off very cool. next up we have um, susan wearing a design by Betty White, and um, this is nice. two handkerchiefs, and what she did is um, crocheted uh, a border around and also the waistband, and then you have the necktie is on the waistband the as tie, well. Yeah. So it's very beautiful, and that's also going to be available. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay. Next up, we have Sydney Kolvik. She is the designer of this apron, and this is a nice um, chef's apron. Yeah, she, it it's made of linen, very soft. She stenciled on utensils along the bottom, and the, the, what I really love about this is there's a casing along the side, so it's adjustable. So oh, the neck, yeah. the neck is adjustable. A lot of times you put these on and they're too big. Yes. It's, she thought of everything here. So Very thank you, nice. Sydney. Um, next up, we have uh, Elaine back out wearing another one of her aprons. This oh, is a she's crazy. A quilter. Yeah, it's a quilter. So this is crazy quilt squares here at the bottom of the apron, oh. and she uses the neck ties at the top for the waistband. It's very pretty. Oh, it is nice. Um, yes, and uh, thank you very much, Elaine. Next up, we have Kona. She's out. This is another one of Elaine's designs, and this is Sunbonnet Sue and Sam applique on the apron, uh, just representing you know men and women working together. And that's one of the necktie and apron theme. We wanted to kind of get across to people that men and women have to work together to end domestic violence. So Very this nice. is symbolic of that. And huh. our last apron is um, worn by Lizzie, and this is another oh. one. Oh, yes, look isn't this gorgeous? On that. That now, is gorgeous. Elaine made this one as well, so she went all out here. Elaine uh, did not stop making aprons, and this one is a garden pathway um, and there's decorative stitching so if you, you really need to see this one in person so come yeah. on out and see it on Friday night at the Y. It but, looks spectacular on TV but even better in person. Yeah <laughs> yeah and so at 6 30 um, we're gonna get things started with the bidding at the Y mm -hmm. and then um, the program short program starts at 7 we're gonna have pie and um, it's just gonna be a fun time. It and sounds wear like Wear your great aprons event. come out in an apron I'd love to see that so okay yeah. Do it, you guys. You can find more information on our website, wzzm13.com. Just click on Take 5 links. Thanks. Good luck. I hope it's a great success. Thank you. And your run is coming up pretty, pretty yeah, quickly here, May too. Yeah, May 8th. May 8th. Going to run in the riverbank. Okay, up next, we're taking you south of the border with a recipe sure to spice up your next meal. Stay with us, please.